So I'm here with one of the staff of Alawa City and that has been news, Alawa City, Alawa City. So I want to know what is actually coming here. Okay, so um, when we talk about Alara City, so Alara City is actually a city that helps you to live, to work and to play. Yeah, so um, Alara City is actually divided into three. We have the industrial part of Alara City, that's where we are coming from. And right here is um, the residential part of Alara City. So in Alara City, it's just to, is the vision is for you to be able to live, work and play. And so you have access to a number of facilities like recreation parks you have restaurants you have hotels here we have schools that are coming here and not just any any type of schools we have international schools that are coming here we have international partners and um, you must have noticed that we have a number of global and local industries that are already operational and some that are in in different stages of construction yeah so alaro city is actually something big it's a big project and right here is the universal homes where we're going to be building 576 family friendly apartments in the heart of alaro city and this is just to um this is just to build um, residential communities that helps family to bond that helps family to live and helps families to to just grow within a city that helps that, that that provides them access to a number of facilities and good infrastructure like right here you see you 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 have access to a number of things that you would normally have access to in a, in any normal or working city so it's not going to be different from living in lekki or vi or so it's it's is the future we call ourselves the future city and that's what we are actually doing here right here okay so for people that actually um, buy, mm -hmm. so what's the plan? Is it that they are still going to follow the Lekki Ekpe Express or is there another road? Okay, so um, for regarding plans for road, we have key major um, road infrastructures that are coming in. Like for example, you know about the construction of the flyover bridge at VGC that is going to um, decongest the Lekki Expressway like on your way down to Lekki. And also we have the coastal, there's a plan for a coastal road so, that is, um, that is going to um, connect all the, all, the, all the phases or the quadrants within the Lekki Free Zone. Like I mentioned earlier, we have um, four quadrants or in the Lekki Free Zone. We have the Northwest, we have the Southwest, we have the Southeast, and we have the Northeast. Do you get? So right here is the Northeast. So we're going to have like a link bridge that connects all the quadrants to, like from the Dangote Refinery down to um, Alaro City and all of that. Then also, we also have plans for the, uh, you, you also know about the, Lekki Ekpe, the construction of the Lekki Ekpe Expressway, yeah. which has actually been completed all the way down to Eleko, Eleko yes. Junction. And also there is plans to extend it all the way to Abramade Sonya. This is going to ease um, the traffic situation within this axis. And um, you also know about the Jebode Expressway, which connects um, which connects you from Lagos to Ogun State. And from Ogun State, you have access to a number of states within Nigeria. So that's a good one, if you ask me. Okay. So regarding the facilities like electricity mm -hmm. and how is it going to be? Okay, so um, right here, we are actually generating our own power supply. It's going to be 24 hours power supply. And we're going to be doing that by the, um, through the Independence Power Project, the IPP, using turbine gas. Okay. Yeah, also we're going to be providing water, water treated water. Uh, we have tr um, a water treatment plants that are already in store. We also have um, a number of um, city management structures that are already being put in place and all of that. Okay. So because people normally in Lagos, oh, there's flood and all, so how are you going to control the flood here? Okay, so um, right here, when we walked through the, or when we drove through the activation road, you must have noticed that um, we had we had synthet we had flower bed you saw flower beds yeah. they are not actually flower beds they are actually um, rain gardens to channel the water 
water from the surface all through to the green waste. You also saw the green waste. Mm. We have we already have that in place and it's already part of the master plan. So um, it's just to um, serve as a means to channel all this water to um, the drainage. We are going to be having good drainage system so you don't have to worry about um, the city being flooded in the near in, in in the future so we already have all those things being um, put in place we have the synthetic pipes we have um, we have the synthetic pipes the storm drainages and also the rain gardens as well um, this is one reason why um, Alaro City is considered the home of business because um, it is in proximity, in close proximity to a number of key and um, key value drivers within the Lekki Epe corridor. Yeah, so if you if you notice the number of properties, the number of estates, the number of lands around the Lekki Free Zone are already appreciating. And this is because of a number of infra infrastructures that are being brought to the Lekki Free Zone. We have the Dangote Refinery, we have the Lekki Deep Sea Port, which is the deepest port in West Africa. And also we have the Lagos International Airport, which is just adjacent Alaro City. And this is going to you, you know what this means yeah so for people who have investment here they can actually it's just a walking distance